What if I told you that studying medicine just got 10 times easier? And it's all thanks to this tool I discovered recently. It makes the answers of ChatGPT 100% reliable each and every time. So let me show you. Hey, my name is Cern and I'm a fifth year med student. That means I've been hitting books for quite a while now. But this semester, Ambos did something revolutionary that changed the way I study. Oh yeah, and stick till the end because I'll show you ways to maximize the usage of this tool. Let's get into it. How does it work? It is literally an add-on for ChatGPT and it promises to answer all your questions with the information that is solely found on the Ambos library. And it also links back to the same articles that it found the information in, so you can read up on it even more. This makes ChatGPT 99% accurate. And in my experience, I have not even found one mistake yet, but it's probably not 100% accurate. The way I use it. You probably already know that I like to study with flashcards and making flashcards with ChatGPT is a whole lot faster. But the problem was before that ChatGPT was not really 100% reliable. But now this all changed. I can now make flashcards with information that is 99% uh, accurate. But even if you're not studying with flashcards, this tool can really be helpful. We all had that feeling that we were studying and we found a illness or a word that we just didn't understand. And you used to look up this information yourself in books or online or even ask ChatGPT, but not knowing the answer was correct 100% of the times. Oh yeah, by the way, there is an affiliate link to that Amboss site in the description. The way I make flashcards is so I don't need any other tools to study. So I make very broad flashcards and also very specific flashcards. So broad flashcards could be something like, what is the pathophysiology about diabetes? And then a specific flashcard could be, what is the dosage of a certain medication you need to give? But then if I wanted to learn a broad topic, I needed to search on YouTube to find a video that would explain the pathophysiology or I would have to look in my books, but that takes a long while. Now I can just ask ChatGPT with this Amboss tool and it is 100% accurate. In medical school, you also need a deep knowledge of topics. You need to be able to compare different illnesses. You need to be able to compare different diagnostic tests or even medications or other treatment options. You used to have to do this yourself, comparing each illness to the other one. But now you can just ask ChatGPT to do that for you, making learning for you more efficient. It used to take 15 to 30 minutes to look up this information myself, and now I can just get the answer in less than a minute. The usage in the hospital. Next month, my internships start, and I can already see the usage of this tool in my internships. If you see a patient and he or she has a disease that you've heard of, but you forgot most of the information, now you can just look it up with a quick search. Even reading up on some articles is very much easier with this tool. I can just ask any medical question I want and get an accurate answer out of this tool. It could shear off so much time I would be spending on looking up diseases and studying for diseases, whilst now I can do this in a fraction of the time. So I can get the most out of my internships. So let me know in the comments, if you study with ChatGPT, how do you use it? So how can you maximize the usage of this tool? If you're studying, you should ask ChatGPT to compare different diseases or diagnostic tools with each other, because most of the times this is where exam questions will be made. It could also help you do practice exams, giving you answers and accurate explanations why your answer is right or wrong. The third way is in the hospital. It can help you make an accurate differential diagnosis and you can also ask it what test you should perform to in or exclude a disease. And the last one is the best one. You could impress your attending physician by asking deep dive questions about a specific disease and by that showing off your knowledge about the disease because now you have all that knowledge at your fingertips. This could lead you to get better results on your evaluation of your internship. If you made it so far in this video, you probably enjoy this style of content. So subscribe so you can watch more of this type of content. The pricing. 
You probably already guessed it. If this tool is so powerful as you say, it cannot be free, right? And unfortunately, you are right. You could still use the free version of this tool, which allows you to ask 50 questions each three months, which is just a way to test it out, really. But if you get an Amboss account, you will get to use this tool for unlimited. That is if you stay in the boundaries of your ChatGPT subscription. If you're a student, you will have to pay $10.75 a month. And if you go for the monthly plan, it is $14.99 a month. If you're a clinician, it is more expensive. Then you'll have to pay $21.58 a month for the yearly plan and $29.99 a month if you want the monthly access. Do note, if you pay for an Amble subscription, you don't only get to use the ChatGPT add-on, you also get to use all the other tools that Amboss provides, including the Amboss library. If you like this video, you'll probably also like this video because YouTube says you will.